you all applaud for me. It's fantastic. Um, uh, I'm so raising much happiness that so many of you are going to be able to stay for a QA. and a um, And uh, since we got started a bit late, we don't have much time, so I'm just going to get us going so we can get in as much as possible. So without further ado, I would love to welcome back to the stage the director of Hector and the Search for Happiness, Peter Chelsom. Yes, <laughs> why don't we get on with it? Just yes. bring them, I would just bring them all out. Great. Faces you don't recognize, I will explain. Please, everybody, just come on stage. I think Christopher should be. Of Hector. Yeah, Hector and his girlfriend. 
Right. The question around Asperger's, the Asperger's in I think they do, they, I, think they're, I don't know if it, if it registers on the spectrum as such, but I think they are. <laughs> I think that, but it's a dysfunctional relationship, definitely. They're codependent in, in that, uh, you know, Clara, um, will you talk about Clara a little bit? Okay. Uh, Clara likes things to be very neat and tidy and very ordered, and Hector likes to be mothered, and in that respect, they kind of fulfill deficiencies in each other's characters, and they form a slot. Even though it seems very perfect and, and kind of lovely and idyllic, it's actually a little bit toxic, you know, because they're essentially facilitating each other's faults a little bit. So I think um, that was something they had to kind of shake themselves out of. And in, in, in allowing Hector to go on the journey, I, you know, I think. Clara kind of leaps along with it as well in a way. It's like, okay, you go fix this then, kind of thing. And it's, they both take a leap of faith in, in, in splitting apart. The break, is, as we've said often in interviews today, is always a bit of a, you know, the idea of let's have a break is just really let me go and have sex with someone else. Well, that's what that means. If someone has said that to me, I apologize. <laughs>
Simon Pegg's face. Is that a question? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Is that for all the actors? Okay, great. Uh, so the question to the actors is, uh, was the process of making the film, has that changed how you see happiness or your opinion of the idea of happiness? Uh, it's clarified a few things for me. I'll be brief. It's, it's made me realize that it is part of a journey and not a destination. You know, if you chase happiness, it's like chasing a rainbow, you never get to it. But if you enjoy running, you'll have a good life. And I think that's kind of the key. It's like Christopher says in the movie, it's the happiness of pursuit of Cosmic Pike. Okay. Yes, well, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you, sit, you sit long enough doing interviews for this film and, and you start to sort of yeah, feel like you're in a therapy session. <laughs> I, I, I'm, not, I'm not sure I can answer that question, but I've answered all day long. Um, but I, I, I will say that I, I was interested in Clara um, and their relationship because I, it was a phenomenon that I think I've seen, a, a particular type of modern couple who are very comfortable, united, committed, but are sort of afraid to take that extra step into the chaotic realm of marriage and children and almost as though the sort of magic of the couple will be somehow compromised by bringing something else in or bringing a third person in. And I suppose Clara in that, in the space that we don't really see her is, 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 is reaching the point where she can say, I can be a mother. Um, which is a kind of happiness, but as we see, it brings, it's like opening floodgates into a world where, you know, you're deeply scared and um, worried and full of anxiety, and, and in sort of accepting those emotions in, there's a joy, and um, I suppose that's something I, I feel and I've related to, and, and, and it was nice to do a film that explores happiness in that way.
from Hector and the Search for Happiness, Peter Johnson, Simon.